Pro players doesn't tell you this, so listen carefully. Go to control settings every start of the game and set the correct control settings for your game style and type of hero. Do you notice that some players hero are confused with what to do? They want to pursue the running enemy with low HP but their hero is attacking the tank. The key to this is set the correct control setting for your game style. Let me explain what you just need. Choose the lowest HP if you are playing marksman role. Always, your hero will attack the enemy with the lowest number of HP. And when playing fighters or assassins, use the closest target because you're a melee attacker. And your priority should be killing the squishy hero first, like mage, marksman, or the most strategic hero to kill first. This option will attack the hero closest to you, no matter what their HP bar. If you're playing tank, support, or mage role, you can choose either lowest HP or closest target, depends on your type of skill and your priority strategy to kill the enemy. The loading time is very important. Some players use this time to drink coffee and eat. But if you have not reached Mythic yet, you should use this time to analyze and anticipate the enemy gameplay and combo, like Johnson and Odette or Badang. Eye on the map always to avoid a car accident. Watch out for a split pusher masha. Don't ignore badges and treat that as a warning who is a good player and how to counter them. For example, if Hayabusa shows a top budge and you're a squishy offline hero, prepare for his ultimate when you are alone. Build a defense boots to survive his combo. If there's Hanzo, make Boots your priority to run away from his ultimate. If there's a top Aldus, you may want to build Wind Talker. You may want to build Wind of Nature as your second item or third if you're playing Marksman. Remember, you're a solo player. You need to make this adjustment to carry your team. Items. Build the right items for your heroes. It's okay to copy the build of pro players as your default items, but you should know how to counter build. If you're fighting against regeneration, lifesteal, and shield heroes like Uranus, Esmeralda, Balmon, Sylvana, and Harry, if the player is very good using these heroes, they are almost unkillable, right? If there's five of you attacking them and still you cannot kill them and that makes your teammates feeling hopeless. The counter item for these heroes is this too. See Halberd if you're physical damage and Necklace of Durance if you're magic damage. Notice the small broken heart to the enemies after attacking them. That's the effect of this item. It reduces the regeneration or shield effects by huge percentage, making them soft and easier to kill. The support role hero should be the one to build this item, but since you are playing solo, many players out there are ignorant about this, so build it and thanks to you for curing your team. Avoid trash talking and focus on the game instead of blaming your teammates 
Think of a strategy how to win instead. If you have a teammate who's feeding the enemy because he has no map awareness, use that player to your advantage. Follow him and make him bait. And tank and kill the enemies after exhausting their skills to that bait. When you are on the losing side, don't give up. A comeback is always possible. Avoid facing overfed enemy heroes and try to farm up. Last hit minions, defend your turrets and make the game longer up to 16 minutes above to catch up with items and level. Don't start a team fight until your team have enough items. Always gather and wait for wipe out to do counter push and do not attack the lord if there's enough time to finish their base. Remember, you only need 15 seconds for it. The resurrection timer shows you what's the right thing to do and learn the advanced aim controls and lock towers when pushing. Hey guys, welcome to my channel made for ML solo players. If you are a solo player like me, I know your frustrations. AFK, feeding, and less experienced teammates. They have no strategies and they play like AIs. So you are stuck in Grandmaster, Epic, or Legend and you cannot reach the Mythic rank. I already break this curse. I'm a solo player but Mythic rank higher. In my videos, I will teach you advanced strategies for solo players to increase your chances of winning rankings. Playing Mobile Legends is easy. It's a repetitive game. You just memorize the strategies and see yourself rank up to Mythic. So subscribe now and don't forget to like the video later. Making a comeback. If your team is losing, many players are starting to blame and discourage their teammates. And so they lose their focus and sometimes ended up clicking the surrender button. But I would suggest never surrender because a comeback is always possible because of many reasons. First, there is a high tendency that the enemies may get cocky and just keep attacking even they are outnumbered or inside your turrets. Remember one mistake can turn the outcome of the battle immediately and I experienced that many times. Secondly, when the enemies are so good, it's your opportunity to improve your gameplay IQ and strategy. So don't miss this opportunity by surrendering. Saturated, that's what you 
Thank you for watching guys. Please support my channel by subscribing and liking this video. See you in my next tutorial.